There were tears in the eyes of family members as they got their first look at the man who is connected to the murders of these women. It was one of the few moments when James Brown of Sterling Heights lifted his head during his arraignment. The 24-year-old is accused of disinternment and mutilation of the bodies of 23-year-old Renisha Landers and her cousin, 24-year-old Demisha Hunt. He faces the same charge plus two arson charges related to the deaths of 29-year-old Natasha Curtis and 28-year-old Vernithia McCreary. He young himself, you feel me? I don't understand it. You know, life crazy. I don't understand it at all. Police won't comment on Brown's connection to the women, but they say three of the four victims whose bodies were found in trunks of cars in December had placed ads for adult services on Backpage.com. In the courtroom, emotions ran high as Brown's bond was set at half a million dollars for each of the two cases. I feel like dying. I feel like dying, just with her. And while it brought some closure for the family, the obvious question still lingers. Since Brown has not been charged with murder, when will someone be charged? Hopefully the house of cards will start falling now. You know, I'm sure they'll put him in isolation, you know, and question him over and over over the next few months and weeks. And hopefully, you know, we'll get to the bottom of it, you know, to get to the murder part of this. Police Chief Ralph Godby suggested the murder charges might hinge on where the women were killed, since it now appears they were not murdered in Detroit. He went on to say this was a disturbing trend. It's the third high-profile case in recent months where murders happened elsewhere, but the bodies were dumped in Detroit. If anybody thinks Detroit is a dumping ground, they're sadly mistaken. Brown is expected to be back in court on May 17th. From the 36th District Court, Smitha Kaloki, 7 Action News.